It has now been one week since students have been sleeping in tents on the quad. And while tensions rose here at the University of Chicago over the weekend, things have remained calm today. University police and security have bolstered their presence on the quad, but today we have not seen them intervene or interrupt the encampment. This as University of Chicago President Paul Alavisados said in a letter Friday that the encampment has reached a point where it is disrupting learning and campus safety and cannot continue. Last night, officials confirmed that discussions with protesters were suspended, stating that the requests of demonstrators are inconsistent with the university's principles. This morning, professors and staff members who make up the group Faculty for Justice in Palestine gathered to urge administrators not to involve police in the encampment and to protect students' right to free expression. The use of police force on university campuses across America is a dangerous precedent to set for the future of our country. The use of police force in these circumstances does not serve to protect, but rather to intimidate and silence. We support the protesters' central demands that the university divest its endowment and that it suspend its formal cooperation with Israeli institutions. We reject the exceptionalist proposition that the university should maintain institutional neutrality. Like we've seen on other area campuses, there have also been counter protests here at the University of Chicago. And in a section of the quad, Israeli flags are displayed. Reporting live in Hyde Park, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.